Oh, I love watching Game of Thrones at night. I cuddle with my cat and I put it on and I like how everyone's so disgusting and mean to each other and it's such a good show. <laughs> I used to wake, run with the moon. I lived like a rake and a young man. I covered... Mike's Music Method. Come on in, everybody. Towns Man Zant. We're doing Towns. Rake. I can't believe I haven't done this song yet. It goes out to Connor for motivating me to do it. A lot of people have requested this song. It's a great town song, but I'm just, I don't know, for some reason I keep forgetting to do it. And so, Connor, here you go. And to everyone else who requested it, here it is. Guys, if you're new to Towns Van Zant and you want to learn a town song, this is a great one to start with. Rake. It's a flat picking song, and it is not that hard. It's not a total beginner piece, but it isn't hard. I have a whole uh, list, a lengthy list of songs, flat picking songs over here. Uh, it's a great playlist. I will try to organize them by difficulty. That's hard to do, but there are some simple flat picking ones in there. This one's moderate. Um, if you tackled Moonlight Song, this song's going to be a breeze. That's a Blaze Foley tune. That's beautiful. I'm excited to be recording this one and bringing it to you all. My whole house was sick with the flu since, like, Thanksgiving. So we were wrecked, and uh, <clears throat> I'm still a little gah, but I'm excited to be here bringing you guys songs. And that's it. Towns Van Zandt. We're going to do it. Rake. As always, remember, slow run-throughs. Um, use the timestamps. Slow run-throughs are at the end. But you're going you're gonna to breeze through this one. I'm going to hold your hand measure by measure. It's going to be beautiful. And for a lot of newbies... Mike'sMusicMethod.com. All the tabs are free. Occasionally, I get emails about people being confused. Where are the tabs? They're at Mike'sMusicMethod.com. You can download them all for free. For those of you who are getting snagged on your cell phone, I fixed it. You can now close the pop-up box. So apologies. I should probably check that stuff before I publish it to the world. But you couldn't X out of the stupid pop-up box and download the tabs on certain cell phones and that was probably pretty aggravating. So when that happens, thank you. I don't know who, e who emailed me, but thank you for telling me uh, because, I, yeah, I want to resolve this stuff. I don't want you guys to live inside a, a nightmare when visiting my website. So all the tabs are free. Let's do it. <laughs> Measure one. I'm going to assume you know about flat picks. If not, you can watch some simpler videos on flat picking. But this one's pretty simple, so even if you don't know too much about the flat pick, don't, you know, it'll still be all right for you. Let's start on measure one here. You got your pick. Doing a D minor chord, I'm hitting it from the fifth string down, so from the A string down. And we're just letting that thing sing nice and loud. And that's measure one. Measure two, we're hitting the fourth string. We're holding it for beat two. And then it's a down up on three and. Now when I do that down up, I'm only hitting the top three strings. If you hit two, that's fine. But I'm aiming for three. Try not to hit the fourth one again because you want that to sing. And I'm doing the D minor. If you're doing the D minor like this, it's fine. I use my pinky for some reason, um, just because I, like, I often vary it. But it's fine to do it this way in this song. So that's measure one and two. Got the big D minor, and then we do one, two, three, and. And then measure three, we get a hammer on the third string open to two. So we hammer on. And then two and three. And then on the and beat of three, I lift my middle finger again to get it open. So it's hammer, down, up, down, up. And on the final up, I'm releasing that third string so it sounds open. So three, uh, sorry, it's in three, four, so it's one, two, three. One more time, two, three, hammer. Whew. Measure at four goes to an F chord. So we got an F chord, I hit the fourth string, then I strum down up, and then I hit open on the third string. So really, you gotta be fingertips with this ring finger here to get that middle, uh, sorry, to get that third string to sing. So it's 
So when I do those down up strums, I'm only hitting the top three. So that fourth string rings, boom. Then measure five, and don't worry, we'll put these together so you'll get the flow in a second, but let's get a few of them daisy chained. Measure five, we're still on the F chord. We're hammering the third string open to two. Then we strum that chord with the same hammer, open two. So it's hammer on the third string. Then you strum the top three, but you lift your finger first, and you hammer again, so it's. And then you pick the fourth string on the last beat. Strum the hammer, fourth string. Let's put those first four measures together. We got that big D minor. It's not really in time, it just rings, but then we'll count it here. One, two, three, one, hold. Yeah, and we'll, we'll be a bunch of slow run throughs at the end. So don't worry, you can, there's timestamps down below and jump ahead to the ending if you wanna practice that. But don't do it yet, let's get the whole intro before we, we get there. Whew. Measure six, it's a G chord, but he's not hitting us, giving us the low G, so we're just doing the third string open, and then I'm gonna strum the top three. But check out the rhythm here. We've got one, two, and three, and. So it starts on the up, you pick it. One, miss the two, up, down, up. Pick, miss, up, down, up. Pick, miss, up, down, up. So that's measure six. One, two, and three, and. Then the next measure, we pull it off. We go from a G to a G7, so three. Now this is kind of weird. It's hard for me to mark this correctly in the tab, so pay attention. I'm just pulling off three to one. I know it says in the tab to hit those opens, but it's a little too complicated for me to like have some be tied and then the lines get confused with the pull off and the tie. I know it's confusing, but we're just strumming that first one and pulling off to the one. Then we hit the one again and it pulls off to the open. And those are both down strums. And then the ending, we do do it down up. So it's pick down, 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 up. And he's just descending. And there you can hit the top three or the top four strings. It's kind of hard to know exactly what he's doing there. That's the idea. So let's go from six. One, two, three. One, two. One more time. One, two, three. And then measure seven, sorry, measure eight, we have a D minor chord. And here he just does, he picks four, three, and then strums the top two. I'm just picking down, down, down strum. And then the last two are down up. So fourth, third, strum the top two, and then I do down up on the top three. Donation pitch. Hey, to everyone who's been pitching in, donating, subscribing to uh, Mike's Music Method. Huge warm hugs. Uh, there's north of like a hundred you of a hundred of you giving, giving a few bucks every month, and it's amazing. So this is my virtual hug moment. Thank you guys so much. To the rest of you who aren't giving in, please, please consider. Uh, I spend a lot of my time and talent and Treasure goes into making these videos, so consider giving some of your time, talent, or treasure back to make this possible. It's a lot of time. I've got a day job and three kids, but I want to keep this stuff free. I really don't want to have to put it behind a paywall because I know, sure, maybe I could make more money. I probably would, charging people for tabs, but I know a lot less people would be getting access. A lot less people would be able to like binge the content, and I know a lot of, you, a lot of people out there do that where you're learning a ton of songs from the channel. 
So for you, those of you who have the means, please consider it. That means it stays free for everybody else. So not only are you giving value for what you're getting, but that value gets extended. It's a charitable gift to so many people who can't afford it right now. And, you know, those of you who are contributing are making it possible for it to be free to everybody else. And that is awesome. So what is this worth to you? Maybe every time you learn a song, you go, oh, that was great. Thanks, Mike. You, you give me 20 bucks. Or maybe it's 15 bucks a month. Or in lieu of guitar lessons, you're just doing Mike's music method. That's like $120 a month you could be spending. Can, can you think, think of me as your music teacher? Can you afford 120 bucks to, you know, to your guitar teacher? A lot of people do that. I know that seems like a lot, but think about it. Am I at least worth a Netflix? Come on. Come on. I know I'm not like a Game of Thrones I can't even do a pop culture reference. That's how lost I am. I don't, there's not a single character of a Netflix show that I know the name of, or let alone can do some kind of a reference to. But I did watch a Game of Thrones once, and it was all, this was pretty much it. Like, I'm a disgusting, despicable, vile character. No, I'm more disgusting and despicable than vile. No, but I am. And the one guy who just like did some horrid act the episode before, in the next episode, you're supposed to like have sympathy for them. What? Come on, you guys are paying twenty dollars a month for that. You should. What? Mike's music method should at least be worth, you know, three times that amount. But, all right, I'm offending someone I know. They're saying, "Oh no, but Game of Thrones, the writing so good." Sorry, now I'm criticizing my own my own supporters. <laughs> But you know what I'm saying? Value for value. You guys, I know you're getting like a good education from this channel. Consider what it's worth to you. <laughs> All right, I'm going to stop. You know what I'm getting at. I don't want to offend anybody if you, it's your favorite show. Oh, I love watching Game of Thrones at night. I cuddle with my cat and I put it on and I like how everyone's so disgusting and mean to each other and it's such a good show. Okay. All right, let's keep learning the song. <clears throat> <coughs> I'm, I'm feeling better I swear I, I am getting better every day whew, almost done with the intro measure nine we're still on the D minor hammer on the third string open two we kind of seen that before but you don't have to lift it at the end it's hammer down up down up then we do the same thing in ten here that we just saw a second ago which is four three at the top two but then it's a then he comes right up after that, sorry. So it's four, three, top two, and up, down, up. Again, I'm aiming for the top three, but it doesn't have to be exact. And then the last measure here of the intro is 11. We just have a hammer on at the beginning, open to two on the strum, and then down, up, down, up. And again, if you hit the fourth string, it's okay, but I'm aiming for the top three. Slow run through of the intro, we'll do it here and then also at the end of the video so you can get all the sections together. But let's play through this. I know you guys got it. So we got that big D minor at the beginning. I know it just says it's three beats in my tab, but remember it's just kind of free form. It builds on the reverb, then we'll play it from two together. One, two, three. Start singing it, y'all. Got the verse, measure 12. It's, it's all gonna look pretty similar for the most part. So we got the D minor, four, three, top two, and then down, up. Down, 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 up. I used to wake, I used to wake. And then 13's the same thing. 
12 and 13. One, two, three. I used to wake. Then we go to an F chord, same concept. Down, down, top two on the F chord. Four, three, top two. But right after we do those top two, down, up, down, up. That's 14. 15 is a little different. We hammer on the third string open to two. And then it's down, up, down, up. So the whole F chord from 14. One, two, three. So let's just go from the top of the verse here. Two, three. Measure 16, we have a G chord, and now we do the full G chord, actually. We do six, five, four. Now this is a little bit weird here. I'm doing, picking those first three, but then that strum is an up, so it's six, five, four, then I'm doing an up strum and just hitting the top three strings. Then it's another up. So the rhythm is one and two and and. So they're both upbeats. Your instinct was probably going to be to hit that first one down. Another thing that could help is to actually alternate pick with your right hand. So you could go down, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, up, up. I don't know if that makes it more confusing. It's more natural to do down, 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 up, up, or down, up, down, up, up. And one thing to think about here, this might be helpful if this is confusing, right? When I hit that fourth string, I'm, I'm like going all the way down after I hit it. See that follow through? So then I'm prepared for the up. So watch this here, go all the way down, then I'm prepared for the up. Overshoot. So you got a big follow through on that last one. Normally we're keeping it really close, right? Economy of motion. But here, the economy of motion is to get to our next moment as quick as possible. So a little foresight there. And then measure 17, we'll keep going. We've seen this before. Those daisy chain pull-offs, three to one, one to open, and then down up. Let's finish the verse here on 18, then we'll play it through slow. You've seen that before. Four, four, three, top two, down, up, then a hammer. And after that hammer on the third string, it's a down strum, and then a down, up. Hammer, down, down, up, hammer, down, down, up. So let's play it with the words really slow. One, two, three, one, two, three. I used to wake, run with the moon, live like a rake in a young man. Cover my lovers with flowers and moons. My laughter, the devil would frighten. There it is. Sorry if I did it a little quick. We'll, we'll do it slow at the end, real consistent. But I want to give you the lyrics as well um, to match it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Measure 20. Let's start the chorus. We got a little simple F again. It's just four, three, down, down, up. That's it. The sun, she would. And we go to a G chord, come. And here it's a bit more than before. We've got five, four, down, up, down, up. And on those down ups, I'm aiming for the top three or the top four strings. 
Now here in 22, it's back to an F, but we have the full on, let me scooch, am I falling off the screen here? We have a full on bar chord. And here it's six, five, down, down, up. So similar to what we just did on the G. Down, up, down, up, down, down, up. So there's no up on the second beat, it's just one and two, three and. Then to a D minor. Let's just pick the fourth, strum down, down, up. And so if we sing that, one, two, three. Sun, she would come. I pick the fifth instead of the fourth. This is why it's good to memorize these songs. It's hard to read them and be accurate with your right hand. Uh, let's keep going, though. We've got uh, measure 24 on a C chord. We just pick the fifth string. Down, up, down, up. And then 25, we hammer on the fourth string, open to two. It's hammer, down. Six is a D minor, just fourth string open, and then down, up, down, up. Then we hammer on, hammer on the third, open to two, and measure 27 here. Hammer, down, up, down. And the first two endings will keep going into 28 because he just end, hang, hangs out on that D minor before he repeats. It's just fourth, down, up, down, up, and then measure 29 is hammer again on the third string. Down, up, down, up. And then he repeats back to the, uh, back to the verse. Yo, sorry, quick correction, check this out. He actually repeats, there's more lyrics, so I, I kinda went too far there. But if you go back to 20, um, it's the sun she would come and beat me back down. But every cruel day had its nightfall. And then it actually repeats here, right? So 25, uh, sorry, 27 repeats back to 20 um, to the F chord. I'd welcome the stars with wine and guitars full of fire and forgetful. And that's when 26, that's when 28 comes in and he just does a little ending. And then the whole thing would repeat back for another verse. So we have a full verse, a chorus, with that ending I just showed you that transitions back to another full verse and a chorus. Same transition the second time, full verse, chorus. But then after the end of this third verse, we go to the, the third ending, which is measure 30. And here the transition is different. Well, nothing's going to be too new or shocking material here. But we're on measure 30, and we got the F chord. We've seen all that before to the G. We've seen that double up on the G. Pick, 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 up, up, and then the same pull-off part. Back to the D minor. Sorry. So that... That's a transition, no new material. Let's do it all together now from 30. One, two, three. And that is the whole thing, except for, we'll put it all together with slow run-throughs, but before we do that, just let's go to the very next measure here, 34, 5, 36. It's just how he ends the final verse. So after he did that, uh, third verse ends with that ending. We go back to one more verse, but he doesn't go to the chorus. He ends on the verse just by doing... I hardly need to write it down, but just to show you guys how it goes. Picking the fourth, down, up, down, down. And that'll replace measure 26 on the final verse, but we'll talk about all that in a second.
Easy enough, though, yeah? Yeah. With much better lighting, that rain cloud came out of nowhere. Uh, let's go intro. We'll play it through twice, all right? So we got the big strum. Let's just take it from measure two, and then we'll repeat back to measure two. One, two, three, two. Verse, slow run, nice and slow. This is measure 12 in the tab. One, two, three. Let's run the chorus for measure 20. It will repeat at 27. We'll do it again, and then we'll do the first ending. All right, so measure 20. One, two, three. a whole nother verse, a whole nother chorus, a whole nother verse, a whole nother chorus. Except the last time you would do that chorus on the uh, third verse, you would go to the transition. So let's play the transition nice and slow from 30. One, two, three. it because it's not really new material and that's the whole tune you did it yeah such a good show okay.